is my review for uh, New Japan's destruction pay-per-view I just got done watching it um, hmm. I think it's still need, I still need a bit of time to let it settle in whether I really decide whether or not it was a a good show or a great show because uh, the card was solid enough um, well the second third the, t the second thirds of the card the first up was awful so I'm not even going to bother uh, addressing it one positive thing happened in the whole of the first three matches um, Takahashi won with the Tokyo Pimps so I'm not even going to go over the first three matches because they're not worth going over uh, great ratings, whatever, star ratings in the description box if you're interested. So, um, the opening match, <laughs> it wasn't the opening match, it was the fourth match, but if you'd gotten into all those first three matches, this could have been the opener, you would have had half an hour longer to do more with the matches that came afterwards. Which, and a seven match card to me is not really that big a deal. I think it would have been would have been a better show really if those first three matches had been on sort of dragging it down at the start. Uh, uh, Hiroki Goto and uh, Tamatonga versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Ultima Guerrero. Uh, this is a decent a decent enough tag team match. Um, me being a bit of a Goto mark, obviously, I probably might have rated this a bit higher than it, it should have been. I don't know. Goto getting over here was good. Um, I think it's it's, setting, it's supposed to set up a feud with uh, Guerrero down the line because they had a match when Goto went over to CMLL. And um, that I don't really, that's not really a, a big deal to me. What is a big deal to me is that after the show, uh, Goto. Uh, well, I'll address that later on. But, uh, solid enough match here, yeah. three stars. Yes, this is good. Yeah, nothing great, but it's a solid tag team match. Uh, second, I'm going to go through, but I just ignore the fact that there were three matches, three awful opening matches, and I'm just going to say this was the second match of the night. Second match of the night: Apollo 55 versus Rocky Romero and David Richards, uh, the former Never More School. Uh, those two were a very solid tag team, uh, way back when, so, um, you don't really have a problem with them being, uh, considered a cha challenges to the junior heavyweight tag team championships, but what I do have a problem with is that, um, Davey's not over, Rocky's not expected to get over, but, I think he's he might be slightly more over than David. David's just not over, my, in, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, he puts on good matches because he's Dave Richards and he's a good enough wrestler. But it's kind of like Chris Benoit in the WWE when he first joined. He wasn't he wasn't over for anything other than his wrestling abilities. And without the Japanese fans are respectful enough that promo you can get by without a big promo ability. And obviously they can't understand him anyway because he's a uh, he speaks English, he doesn't speak uh, Japanese, but um, uh, he just doesn't seem to have a lot of charisma here, yeah, at least. He doesn't, he doesn't quite have the same emotional connection as he does with fans in ROH because of, obviously, you can't tell the same sort of story as he does in ROH uh, as a person because, you know, he's got all this behind him and Yada yada yada. Um, positive coming out of this match was who won, because um, I'm just going to spoil it because I'm going to go through because uh, I, I know I'm bound to give away results. Apollo 55 lost the titles, which is good because they put fucking junior heavyweight title back on Devitt, which really pissed me off. When what they should have done is put the title on Kushida, and then had him have a run with it until until Ibushi came back and then if you really want if you really don't trust see see how Kushida does as champion because you, you, how are you going to build stars if you won't give younger guys the chance to run with it run with ball 
It's the problem they have with Goto, and that's why she's stuck in the rock pod. It's the problem they're, pro they're probably going to have with Naito now, because he's a potential superstar. I mean, admittedly, maybe he's a bit too like a young Tanahashi for my liking, because I really don't want him to turn out to be ta like Tanahashi, because I know he can do better than that. Uh, I think he's a better wrestler than Tanahashi, and I think he's got better. But he's got more potential than Tanahashi, and he puts in a lot more effort than Tanahashi I've ever seen Tanahashi put in, even when he was wasn't stale as fuck. But completely off topic. I don't know how I managed to get so far off topic. Um, Devitt is a good enough worker. He's a solid worker, and he's over. But he's had a long run over there. He was around. He's been around since about 2006, so he's been over there for a good five years, and I mean, he hasn't really been anywhere else, and I know he's not really, he's not going to be able to get, the, maybe he's not going to be able to get the sort of money he gets over there, uh, in the, working in Indies in the States. But I really think he needs to move on. That's my opinion. He's got he's gotten to the point where, I mean, he he, he still puts on good matches. But the problem is that his his um basically he's a Tanahashi of the junior heavyweights. They're just going to push him over everybody. So as long as he's there. Um, a lot of other junior heavyweights don't, don't really stand a chance, so I just think they should move Devitt along. Really. But Richard and Romero getting the titles is, is alright to me. And they got, um, they're going to have Tiger Mask and Kushida Challenge, and I'm just not looking forward to that. Because Tiger Mask is awful, and they partnered him with somebody who isn't, <laughs> which really is just going to drag Kushida down, really. So. But yeah, uh, solid, solid, solid match. Um, arguably the second best match of the night. Three and a half stars. Very good match. Um, third match of the night. Uh, Hiroyoshi Tenzan versus Satoshi Kojima. I love these two. And I really wished that they had been teammates for the, uh, for the G1 Tag League. Because... Undoubtedly, in my mind, anyway, they're the best tag team in the history of in uh, in, a, in the history of all pro wrestling. For me. Um, Kojima is probably my favourite Japanese heavyweight. And Tenzan's not that far behind. Um, they put on a good match. I mean, obviously, it's not quite what you would have quite what you would have seen from them years ago. But they put on a very good match. I I mean I was expecting a, 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 a fair enough outing. And I mean, right, it's kind of comparable for me with the uh, with the attack team match with Apollo Fifty Five and, and Romero and Richards. In a sense that they're both I, they're, I both have them at the same rating. I both have them at three and a half stars. I don't see them as the same the same sort of match, but. I look at it like this. The Tenzan Kojima match was going along at three, three and a half stars for me for most of the match. And it got to the finish. And well, it was about three and a half stars and it got to the finish. And I was temp I was on the verge, I mean if it gone a little bit longer, I think I was on the verge of slowly of, of maybe giving it a low four stars. A very low four stars, but four stars longer. And I think the finish took that away. Whereas with Apollo 55 versus Romero and Richards, it was three stars, and the finish gave it an extra half a star. So this is it's a, it's a um, a case of one match is uh, one match the finish takes away from the match, and one match the the finish gives more to the match. But yeah, another a, a, a fair enough um, match for these two. Hopefully, the next match is better. The the next because they're facing off. They're having another another match. Power struggle. 
which I will address. I'm actually going to address something uh, power struggle related at the end of this video. So look out for that. Um, Nagata versus Yana. Yeah. Um, I look at this match as somewhat of a problem because of what happened at the end of the show. And going into this show, my belief was that Yana need to, needed to go over because Nagata doesn't gain anything from losing this match. Nagata doesn't gain anything from winning this match. I mean. Uh, Yano loses a lot for losing this match. I mean, he's got a bit of steam behind him, he's got a bit of momentum, he's looking good, he's had a few good matches. He goes over Nagata, he's a legitimate challenger to the heavyweight title. He loses, he's just Toro Yano being Toro Yano. So, Nagata getting the win kind of pissed me off a bit. I mean, I half expected it, but. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah, this match wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it wasn't bad, it was three stars. It was a decent match, decent outing, basically. A lot of good, 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 good solid matches, but nothing sort of quite pushing the boundaries, if you will. A lot of three, three and a half, three and a half star matches in this club. Excluding yeah, the, 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 the three, the three non-matches as well. As well. Uh, MVP versus uh, Masato Tanaka for the uh, IWGP Intercontinental Championship, and this for me is the is the second best match in life. Um, MVP, he this is probably probably possibly the best I've seen him actually, and I think to, he worked well with Tanaka. Um, Tanaka's more used to an American sort of style because obviously he worked in ECW for a while. And I'm sure the communication was better because I think Tanaka's probably more well versed in English than uh, than a lot of the uh, Japanese guys, so there was probably better communication between the two. But they these two put on a heck of an effort, and um, again, this again the finish actually helped this match for me. I mean, it was probably it was three and a half stars. So the finish almost pushed it up to four, but not quite. Um, but a very, very good match. Very good match between these two. Definitely one worth checking out. Uh, God. Semi main event. Uh, Makabe versus Suzuki. Togi Makabe versus Minoru Suzuki. I will, I will be the first to admit I'm not Suzuki's biggest fan. I'm not his biggest hater. Probably say Josh probably hates him a little bit more than I do. But I'm not Suzuki's biggest fan. In my opinion, so far his best match this year was against Strongman. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Oh dear. <laughs> Whew. Um, eh. It was a brawl. It was expected to be a brawl. I... It was a little bit too one-sided for me towards the end. I mean, I can understand that, like, the the Japanese style has always been, they have uh, nearful after nearful after nearful on one side, then the, the other side gets a nearful or a submission or something, and then there's another two big moves after that, and that tends to be the way it goes. With this, um, I actually... I do like the, the the very last moment where he's got him in the sleep. He had um, uh, Suzuki has Makabe in the sleeper, and um, he looks like he's fading. And then suddenly he switches and hits him with the Gotch style pole driver. And that, I think that was good. That was very good. I like that. Um, it's sort of the exclamation point to sort of like oh he's weak and take advantage. Hit him with my, hit him with my finisher. And that probably gave this an extra half star. See, a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, things with me play with finishes. I don't. If a finish is bad, I will take away. If a finish isn't good, then I'm not going to take away. But if something's on the on the edge, if it's on, if it's if it's three and a half four stars, and the finish is just okay, or just kind of iffy, then it'll be. 
screen off. If it's bad, then it might even go down to three. Depending on how good the match is, obviously. But if a finish is, if it's on at a three and a half, four, and the finish is really good, then it'll go to four. That's just the way I grade matches. And actually, that's another thing I want to get into. I want to get into the way I grade matches. I won't do it in this video, but that'll that'll come that'll come soon in the future. Um, a lot of a lot of videos planned for the future, but uh, finish this review first. Main event: uh, IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Tetsuya Naito. Like I said, these two are very similar. They're very alike. Tanahashi and Naito wrestle a very very similar style. Naito is like Tanahashi version 2.0 to an extent. At least he looked like that in this match, and I don't like that at all because I don't like Tanahashi, and I don't like what Tanahashi has become. Um, but I can't take away from this match as as much as I don't want to see Tanahashi wrestle for half an hour. Who does? What sane human being wants to see Hiroshi Tanahashi wrestle for half an hour? Tetsuya Naito is somebody I would enjoy seeing for half an hour because he's not gotten stale yet. And behind Goto, Naito should be the new generation of top, top uh, New Japan heavyweights. Should be. I think right now it should be Goku number one, Naito number two, just below him. Um, but this was a very, very, very good match, and I believe it was a match of the night. For me, it was four stars. Four stars. Definitely, definitely four stars. Um, if fucking Tanahashi was a bit more original with his finishes, and rather than just hitting the high fly flow every single match, Every single time you see him hit the high fly flow, you just know the match is over because that's the way he does his business, which is fucking lame as shit. I mean, if he, if he mixed up and maybe he used the dragon to, to get a pin here and there, then maybe I'd be a bit more interested in his matches because I'm not necessarily expecting the match to end after a frog flag. Which is something that I don't like any. I don't like knowing that the match is over after a move. I hate that. I can understand there being certain moves that you use to finish a match and certain moves you don't. But having the same finish to every single match you win is horrible. Horrible. It's horrible. It's a horrible way of doing business. It's just so bad. So bad. Too bad. Crap, 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 crap. Do not do that. But Tanahashi retained. High fly flow, obviously. And I'm just hoping Naito doesn't get stuck in the mid-card mire that they put uh, Goto in. Post-match, Tanahashi did his little interview, got his flowers. Yay! Tanahashi! Um, Nagata came out and basically challenged him. Tanahashi said, yeah, sure, shook hands. In came Yano with a chair! Hit, hit Nagata, hit, and hit Tanahashi, hit Tanahashi, then hit Nagata, then took the bell, said it was his, and left. This is the same Toro Yano who just lost to Yuji Nagata. Eh? 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 There are only a handful of guys right now, after this show, who should be potentially getting talked to. Goto, because of his his win. Kojima, because of his win. Nagata, because of his win. And Suzuki, because of his win. Winners get title shots. Losers don't get title shots. I don't care with them. I see what they're doing. What they're doing. They're giving everybody their wins back. They're giving Tanahashi his wins back over everybody that beat him in... Uh, in the G1. Nagata beat him. Naito beat him. Yano beat him. He got his win back over Naito. He's going to get his win back over, uh, over uh, Yano. And then he's going to get his win back over Nagata. And then he's going to fucking retain the title of Russia Kingdom. 
and we're all going to be sick. I'm going to want to kill somebody. Probably myself. I'm going to do a booking video for Power Struggle. I'm also going to do a booking video for uh, Ring of Honor Final Battle. I'm also going to do a video discussing uh, match psychology and rating matches and how I look at matches in general. Um, I'm probably going to do more videos than that and I might not even do those videos. I don't know when I'll do them. I'll do them at some point. If you don't like, if you get pissed off and that you want me to do a video, fuck you. <laughs> but this all round, uh, this was a pretty good show. Uh, out of 10, yeah, 7 5. It was a solid show. Solid show. Solid is probably the word I'd use. I wouldn't use good or great. It's in the middle. I think solid is in the middle of good and great. That's my opinion. Well, it's not in the middle of good and great in the sense that it's sort of pretty good or very good. It's more good could be based on entertainment and it might not necessarily be a good wrestling show. Solid means the wrestling, in my opinion, it means the wrestling. So I'm getting into my opinions too much. Means that the wrestling on the show is good. And it might still be entertaining. Now, this show wasn't overly entertaining. I mean, whilst I did enjoy the Yano, the Yano bit, and because that set up Tanahashi versus Yano, which I'd be happy to see, um, even though it doesn't make sense. Uh, the show wasn't overly entertaining as a as a as a show. It was a wrestling. That's what Japanese shows are. You've got, you've got sort of, uh, and again, the way the way you look at things, you've got to have an element of entertainment. In there. Just a small smidgen, especially for Japanese shows, but there just wasn't quite enough for me on an entertainment standpoint. But it was a solid enough show with solid wrestling matches. That, like I mean, I think every match that I spoke about had, was at least three three stars. Three to uh, three to four stars. And I think that's a, that's solid. So um yeah that was my review for New Japan's uh, destruction. Look out for those two booking videos and that rambling what what will turn out to be a rambling video and any other videos we're doing in the future because uh I wanna do more videos. I don't think I do enough videos. I don't want to stop part and just do loads and loads of videos, but I want to do more videos, and I will try and do more videos for the few, for like the ten of you who watch. But um, yeah, New Japan Destruction review. And I'm out. Peace.